One common problem people have is when they turn the pool off, their spa will drain down. And in that case, usually it's the check valve that's the problem. And there's a few other problems that could cause that same symptom. I'll go over those in this video here. This is an Ortega check valve. You're going to just need a wrench to get that off. And I'll show you how to fix this one when it, your spa is draining down. You want to open it with a wrench. When you open it, you'll see a spring pop out. And there's a part inside there that needs lube. And that's what causes the problem. You need to pull it out with your hand. You got it here. And so you just lube this up here with magic lube. And that will solve the problem usually. Let me go ahead and lube it up. So I'm going to apply magic lube around this area here, that way it slides in and out easier. And there it is all lubed up. I'm going to go ahead and stick it back in. And I'll put the spring and the cap back on. The spring sits in there and you just tighten that up. And that generally will solve the problem with this kind of valve. Occasionally you have to replace that gray piece, but usually lubing it up will solve the problem. Here's a spot with a check valve problem. You can see that it drained down to the pool level right here. And that's what happens when the check valve fails. It won't keep the water in there and the gravity will take effect and water will go to the least resistance which is back down to the pipe and back to the pool level. So here's a check valve on the pool itself in the spa. And I have a new one right here that I'm going to put on. And it comes with a warning sheet and be very uh, cautious when you do this. Make sure you put it in the right direction gives you a diagram also of improper installation. I'm not going to actually replumb it. I'm just going to take out the piece that's here. I'm going to transfer it into the one that's already plumbed in. So I'm going to take the screws off the old one. So normally when the pool turns off, the water should stay in the spa if the check valve is working correctly. In this case, the water is flowing back down through the plumbing here and over through here. That's what's causing the problem. And we're going to take the screws off the new one so I can use this top plate. I'm just going to replace this whole top area and leave the black plumbing in. And you can replumb it if you wish, but it's not really necessary in most cases. Okay, at that point you should be able to pull it right up and out through here. It has an O-ring on there, make sure it stays on there. That's pre loop from the factory. And you can replace parts on the valve itself, but this one's pretty old, I'm going to just replace the whole thing. It's a lot easier if you just replace the whole thing. And this one's pretty thrashed anyway with the, you can't even see through the lid to see if it's working correctly. It should just pull right off also, maybe on there a little tight, should be able to break the seal. And make sure you um, pull it off and put it on the same direction. So I'm going to put the, the other one on the same way this one was facing. And you can see the old one is in pretty bad shape, and that's probably why it's not working. I'll put the new one on. So I'm going to slide it on there the same way I took it off. Set it on there. And that's a pretty quick and easy way to replace the check valve without replumbing it. Make sure you get the same exact brand and size plumbing. This was one and a half inch, a Jandy. They also make, Pen Pentair makes them. So make sure you get the manufacturer, if you can read it off the valve itself. That would help a lot in getting the replacement. Or bring your old one into a pool store and they could probably match it for you. And just as a habit, I like doing the star pattern. Kind of when you do a, f a spare, t when you change your tire when it goes flat. And I like to do this kind of pattern when I put these on. Okay, so that's on there. The same way I got the old one off. There's an arrow indicating the flow also. If you're unsure, if you take it off and you forget and you weren't paying attention, there's a flow arrow that shows you which direction the flow is actually going. And there's the spa full with the check valve replaced and it's holding the water fine. So installing a new check valve did the trick. And here's another check valve and this one just unscrews with these unions here. I've had to take this one apart a couple times when a piece of plastic got stuck inside. So these unions just unscrew and you can pull it out actually. 
right here in this plastic and it kept it depressed and that's where the water was leaking out of the spa draining it down. Sometimes one will fail and stay in the last mode it was in so it'll be draining the spa down while the other one is filling the pool. So this, this is a very common failure and it'll have the same symptoms of your spa draining down. And here's a good example of what it would look like. You'll have this one here in spa suction mode, this one here in pool return mode, and that definitely will drain your spa down. And that's from a valve actuator failure. And that's very common. And sometimes the valve itself has a problem inside there with the gate. It's not lining up correctly and water is seeping back through. So make sure you check your valves also. If you change the check valve and you still find it leaking back into your system, definitely check the valves and make sure that everything is fine inside there. And here's something I see a lot of. They'll, people will leave their valves a little bit kinked so it's not fully flush so it's still sucking some water from the spa and that will have the same effect as a check valve, you'll be straining the spa down slowly uh, more than it's filling up and it'll kind of give you that same symptom. So make sure when you turn your your pool and spa mode back and forth from spa mode to pool you get all the way and turn that off that way it's not sucking uh, from the spa. You see this pool has a slight leak when I turn it on. Any kind of air leak in the housing gasket or the pump lid, o-ring or even in the suction in front of the pump or the discharge of the pump. So any leak in those areas could cause your uh, pool not to have a sealed system which means that air gets in there with, and it will push the water back out through the valves and drain down your spa also. So any kind of air leak or vacuum leak will cause that problem. Your system needs to be sealed when it turns off for the water to hold and if any air gets in there the water could drain back out of the spa.